Hello and welcome to this how-to video. In this video you will learn how to configure the universal interface for communication between air conditioning units and BACnet MSTP or Mopus RTU networks with the help of our configuration software Intesis Maps. First of all I'm gonna open up Intesis Maps. Here I need to create a new project and important here is to select the right template so I have to choose whether the BACnet or the Mopus template. I have here different um, ways to find the right template whether I look here in the whole list I have also the possibility to use these filters, Modbus or Packnet filter, or I can type in the order code or the first few um, numbers of the order code. So we have these two templates. For this video I'm gonna select the Packnet server template. I click on that, it opens up. Okay, first th thing we see here is that we have an, a project tree with building, apartment, rooms and devices. We can, for example, rename them, for example, a base floor or as you like, meeting rooms. And instead of device, it could be, for example, a split unit. Let's call it split number one. On the left side we see these three subsections. We were now in general. We have also BACnet server and infrared. Here we can um, configure the BACnet server side and do the gateway configuration on that side. You see here the device instance which um, is predefined as well as all other configurations. I'm not gonna change anything here. Let's move to the infrared side. On the infrared side we see the database status. We can update it. We need this for uh, internet connection. Um, it updates the data frames um, with, with our indices server. And then we have on the gateway configuration we have auto learn to detect the frame which is which can be sent from the remote controller or we can configure the remote controller manually. So I'm gonna click on the split one unit. This represents our first gateway. And I'm gonna select here um, you see we have a lot of uh, different AC manufacturers and for these AC manufacturers this is the database I just downloaded from the from the server, from the Intesis server. Here we have also different remote controllers um, so you can choose the one you need. I'm gonna configure right now a generic one. Let's call it RCF1. This is one communication frame we have um, and I let the temperature settings the scale on degrees Celsius. Another nice function here is that we can predefine the AC status uh, after startup or uh, after a device reset. We can enable it here with this checkbox or disable. I'm gonna enable it and here the setups we wanna have. So now I configured the first unit, the split unit, split one. And this is very, very convenient. I can clone it. So let's clone this device. I have a second one which has the same name. I just need to resend, uh, rename it. And we will see on the BACnet server subsection that the service instance and the MAC, MAC address are sequentially numbered. So on the first, we had um, the MAC address 0 and the device instance finishing on 0 and on the split 2 we have the device instance finishing on 1 and the MAC address finishing on 1. We can do this 
again and again as many times as we need for split 3, for split 4 and this is very convenient if you have uh, several times the same split unit or at least having the backnet side pre-configured. So 3, 2, 1, 0, OK. And let's see what happened on the infrared side. On the infrared side also all configuration and also the AC status of their setup or device reset is also pre-configured here on the split unit 1 and the 2 is exactly the same so this is very very convenient same we can do for floors I'm gonna clone a whole floor with the room we can do also um, a clone of rooms and if we wanna change something for example this meeting room or this split unit 1 uh, should be in the other meeting room I can just drag and drop and put it somewhere else of course we can also delete um, meeting rooms or we can also delete the, the units I'm going to delete again this whole floor okay okay now I, we, I have this set up for my project four splits in one meeting room okay let's move to the signal section here we see all signals we have in those four split devices these gateways um, here is a summary of all them we have also the possibility to show more columns more options as text states um, COV etc and we can also export the data into a X sheet on the commissioning window we see a summary of all four devices or as many as you have in your um, in your building in your project and here we see all references the building apartment room the name gateway name the device instance and also the the setup we defined in this case manually uh, the AC manufacturer and the remote control here on the left hand side we see that we are not connected to any device I'm gonna connect it I go back to connection and here I have connected one device on COM9 via mini USB I connect this device I go back to commissioning and here the send buttons appear so I'm now gonna send the configuration for the first split into my gateway first thing they are uh, the maps will ask me is that uh, I need to go save my project okay let's do this I have here already a project which I gonna um, use for that and you see the downloading starts and it notifies that it's complete and very convenient here is that the serial number of my device appears so this unique serial number is uh, now assigned to this um, to this configuration so let's see what happens if I wanna uh, assign another configuration to this serial number I'm gonna reconnect the same device I still have here and I'm gonna say okay let's uh, send the configuration of split 4 to this device so um, a notification appears and it asks me if uh, I wanna overwrite this configuration so and that this configuration is um, associated to another uh, physical device okay I'm gonna override it it downloads it's not gonna ask me again about uh, project saving because it's already saved and okay now the download is completed and you see that the serial number now changed from the split 1 device to the split 4 device Once the device is commissioned, we can do some diagnostics in order to check if everything is alright. Um, this for I 
reconnect the device we have connected the device number four so the split number four I go to diagnostics and here we have several windows which shows us some different things about what's going on with the device on the left side we have a device console um, this has some basic information of the device we can enter here some codes this is mostly for for troubleshooting so if our technical if you get in touch with our technical team they will certainly use this console for checking some uh, information in the device but you can also reset it remotely or ask for information of the device you see then we have two um, protocol viewers the backnet server viewer and the infrared viewer so the BMS side and the AC unit side and here we have three checkboxes each we can enable or disable commandos we can enable or disable debug view function what this does is it parse some part of the information so to make it more visible and easy to read and we can enable or disable the auto scroll so you see there are already some commandos sending forth and back in our device uh, remember we are connected to device 4 this is device 1 I go down here in the signal viewer here we have all signals we have in our project all objects and um, this these are the objects and for example if I have I have here a backnet side and uh, I have again the infrared side and I if I want to change something on one side let's say I change on the infrared side a one this is a simulation then clicking enter it appears also on the backnet side so this communication works same in the other direction if I send for example from the backnet side a zero on the on off command object it will be received on the infrared side we have here also the refresh button to refresh all values of all our objects we have here also the possibility to edit the columns make them visible or invisible and last but not least we have here a small toolbox the most important tool here is the lock function this is if you click on that you you're gonna create a folder with uh, lock files from all four different viewer and this folder with the log files together with the project would be very helpful for the technical team if you have an uh, issue and for troubleshooting so um, they will certainly ask for it if you have any, any issues so thank you for for listening and watching this video um, I hope it helped to show how to configure and um, and work with this new device. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact us. Um, thank you for watching again. Bye bye.